Four teams are left and the stage is set for an enthralling semi-final. Who will make it through to the showpiece event? It's Manchester City, they take on Real Madrid and it's coming up next on EA TV. Good evening and welcome. There's so much to be enthused about going into tonight's contest here at the home of Manchester City. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And now things get really exciting on the UEFA Champions League front. We're at the semi-final stage and what we have coming up is the first leg. It is Manchester City facing Real Madrid. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players... To... Oh, big opportunity! Able to clear the danger, at least for now. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson between the posts. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne starts alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. Haaland! Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Ferlon Mendy plays with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Luka Modric plays with Toni Kroos in the centre of the park. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. Very quick thinking there. This looks threatening. And using his strength to shield the ball. And the attack looks promising. Can they forge ahead? No! Chance missed! And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Tony Kroos. Federico Valverde. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Modric. Benzema. And he takes on the shot. Able to get a body in the way. De Bruyne, now with Silva, Walker, throw into Manchester City, Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva, De Bruyne Real Madrid coming away with it well as you can hear the fans think that should have been a penalty but I'm not convinced Rodri it's with Gundogan Grealish. Well, they couldn't keep possession. No way through. Valverde. Vinicius Jr. Vinicius. In with a chance. And a goal! The opener in the semi final. First goal of the contest! Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And Benzema finishes it with so much quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal.
So back in action. Will there be a quick response from City? There needs to be. Laporte. It's with Gundogan. And a creative look about this. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. And so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. Well, he has plenty of battle scars and he knows how to lead a line, Karim Benzema. It's going pretty well for him. Well, Derek, after a slow start where he was tightly marked, he got better and... Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Grealish. comes to nothing in the end really should have made more of that Valverde Benzema and Benzema that is a tackle and a half Rodri Gundogan and Grealish Ake it's with Gundogan in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here Gundogan now with Grealish oh good work to deny the opportunity <laughs> Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? Well, opting for the short corner. Good physical play. De Bruyne, under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Gundogan on to Holland and the referee doesn't hesitate that is a spot kick well no card handed out but quite a few upset players out there Stuart well he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball so penalty yes yellow card no an opportunity to level matters in it goes calmly converted Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Benzema. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. And let's give credit to the defending. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Modric. Benzema. Can they take the lead? Must be. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. A change in the offing for City. Short corner taken. Rudiger. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. 
Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Walker, moving it forward. Bernardo Silva, on to Holland, and a chance to level it. Holland. Closing phase of this game. Well, here we can see it again. And no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here. Deal with the danger. Otherwise, that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Went in strongly, decisively. Five minutes remaining and level pegging here. <laughs> Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Number 17, Kevin Coming onto the pitch, number four, Mendy. Tension building still level. Well, not hard to read that pass. Well, these City fans are demanding a winner here, but can the players respond? They're certainly playing better now. Succeeded in keeping it in play. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Bernardo Silva. Can he finish? They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. to Manchester City after 90 minutes well they'll be pleased with that victory but it's a slender lead they're taking into the second leg and I think they'll be confident but it's going to be tight that's for sure Kevin De Bruyne incisive and influential how would you sum up what you saw from the Belgian yeah he had a good game today and of course took his penalty well he had a big influence on the result